The first trick is called feel the heat on the coin. So I'll perform the trick and then explain it afterwards. So Kylie, what I want you to do is touch one of the coins and one of the coins only, and I'm gonna come back, feel the heat on the coin, and tell you which coin it was. So I'm gonna turn around and I want you to touch one coin. Ready? Yep. Okay, feeling for heat on the coin. Not that one, I don't think. It's a bit on that one compared to that one. It was definitely that coin. Yes. Okay. So to explain how we did that trick, we need someone at the table or someone nearby that is your tell. So you need to set it up before you do the trick and let them know exactly what's going on. So the first thing you do is you make sure that that person's got a drink. So at our table, the tell was Brittany. So when Kylie was touching the coin, Brittany can see which coin it was. I can't see which coin it is. But as I'm putting my finger over the coin, trying to feel for the imaginary heat, Brittany takes a drink of a drink to let me know. So as my finger's over there, over the coin, she lifts a drink and tells me. So I'm not looking at Brittany, but I can see her as I'm doing the trick. So the person doesn't need to be at the table, they could be a bit away from the bar, they could be anywhere as long as they can see it, and you can see them. And that's how you do feeling the heat on the coin. Okay, this is a trick if you want to, uh, well I'll do the trick first and then I'll explain the rationale and everything behind it. So what you do is you get a very thin coin, you go up to someone and you say, this looks pretty easy to do, but it is quite hard to get it in one go. Stick the coin on your head, and then hit the back of your head and catch the coin. I didn't catch it, but it's hard to do. So we'll get Brittany to do it. So what you do is, Brittany, put your hand behind your, uh, in front of your face, put your hand behind your back there, because you've got to hit it in one go, okay? Only, you only get one go at it, or well, you can get two goes. Okay, ready? It's on there, so hit the back of your head. And uh, you've got to get it in one good go. One go, if we do it a bit harder though. No, 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 one, one, one more go. Yeah. So you, you're, not, you're not getting it. Because the coin's in my hand the whole time. So this is a good one to just have a joke with someone and maybe make them look a bit silly. So put the coin on their head, but press it for long enough, and then as you take your thumb off, you take the coin off really quickly and tell them to hit their head. And just see how long they'll hit their head for until they realise the coin's not on their head. Okay, so this is a magic trick called um, make the ash appear in a hand. Probably a better name for it than that one, but I just thought of it. Um, what you do is, you do it outside in a smoking area. So you go up to someone and you say to them, I want to see both you to put both your hands out like this. So Kylie, what I want you to do is put both your hands out like that. So do you ever wear, um, lift your hands up a bit, wear rings on either one of your hands? Yes. You do? Which hands? Both of them? Both hands, okay, both hands. So I want you to make two fists. So what I want you to do now is, I want you to lift one hand up in the air. So just lift one hand up in the air, and then leave the other one down. So go like that, or like that. Okay, so put that hand behind your back, and leave that hand out. So then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna make Ash magically appear in that hand. Okay, open your hand up and look at it. I'll show him, Ash, and show him your other hand as well. No ash in that one, ash in that one. So, so, to set that trick up, what you need to do is find an ashtray before you go up to the person. Go up to an ashtray and put ash on one of your fingers like that. So you know that the ash is in that hand. So then when you go up to the person, get them to put both their hands up. And as you say, as you touch their hand, you put the ash in their hand. So you ask them, lift their hands up, and then say, make two fists. So make two fists. And then the question about which, sorry, you do, the question about what, the rings, that's just to throw them off. So as you pull the hands up, you say, oh, do you make two fists and do you ever wear rings at all? So you're just taking their mind off the fact that you're touching their hand. So then when I ask her to pick a hand, I know the ashes in that hand. So if I say, pick a hand, so pick a hand, one hand, that one. So because I know the ashes there, she's going to put that hand behind her back. But if she had picked that hand, I'd still ask her to put that hand behind her back. So no matter what happens, that hand is always out. So then I get the cigarette, do the magical blow, and then open your hand up, 
And there's the ash in that one, and not in that one. And that's how you do it.